My name's Rodney Brooks. I was a professor at MIT from 1984 to 2010. Along the way, I started a company called iRobot with some students from MIT. And then in 2008, I went on leave from MIT to start this new company, now called Rethink Robotics, where we're trying to reinvent industrial robots. I'd spent a lot of time in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and China as we were manufacturing products for iRobot. And I realized that outsourcing to China was not a stable solution for long-term manufacturing. So I started to think about how could we make robots that were easy to use so that ordinary factory workers could program them, ordinary factory workers could get them to do new tasks, and that then they could be much more productive and compete with manufacturing in China and bring manufacturing back to the US. Our first product is a robot called Baxter. And Baxter is uh, about human size, two arms, and is able to do simple cases of simple tasks that otherwise would be boring, repetitive tasks. Putting things uh, on the conveyor belt or getting things off a conveyor belt, putting them in boxes, taking them out of boxes. The robot is safe to be close to, unlike current industrial robots. So a factory worker can go up to the robot, grab its arm, and show it some task to do. And the robot can just do it. That's in contrast with current industrial robots where you have to have an engineering team structure the environment for the robot. You have to have safety cages around it because the robots aren't safe to be close to. And you have to really know how to do programming to get the robot to do the simplest sort of thing. The interface of the robot is through what looks like its face, in its face position. It's an it's a LCD screen. And when it's working or operating normally, it actually has eyes on there. Um, why, why, why do I have a robot with eyes? Well, the, the eyes give cues to someone about what the robot's about to do. When it's about to reach over to the right, its eyes look there first and then it reaches. So as you come up to the robot, you can tell what it's going to do next. Every joint in the robot is able to feel force. So instead of being position controlled, we're a force controlled robot. And when it puts something down on a table, um, it's feeling the force as it puts it down. And then, oh, it's down. I'll let go. So if you actually put your hand underneath as it's coming down, it says, well, oh, okay, it's on something, I'll let go of it. Industrial robots have been around since 1961, when they were first put into a, by an American company, put into a GM plant in New Jersey. Um, computation was expensive then, sensors were expensive. So they were built to do the same thing again and again blindly without any sensing. In the last 10 years, we've seen a tremendous flowering of, of uh, robot applications, not in industrial robots, but in other things. Our robot Baxter is the first of these robots that is collaborative, safe to interact with, easy to, for, for an ordinary factory worker to use. I don't know exactly where it's going to go. I know it's going to be a revolution in, in manufacturing. I, I, I sort of liken it to when the tractor came into farming, completely changed how farming was done. No one wants to go back to hand hoeing. Uh, tractors uh, made farming a much better business to be in. And I think we're going to see that change in manufacturing. When people hear that we're building industrial robots, they say, oh, isn't that going to take away jobs? And I do not think that is the case. The, having the robot do simple cases of simple tasks it makes existing workers more productive. And by having the existing workers be able to program the robot or train the robot, they get more power in what they can do. I think we're going to see people take this robot, program it to do stuff that we never thought of, never imagined, and lots of them are going to be failures, lots of them are not going to lead to real stuff, but out of that will come some new applications that we didn't even consider, and then it gets really exciting.